Greetings from the Emerald Isle, whiskey lovers. My name's Al, and this is Whiskey Street. But yeah, Big Al coming at you once again from the Whiskey Den, where you can join me on my spiritual odyssey through the wonderful world of whiskey. If you're a returning subscriber, cheers, good to have you back again. If it's your first time here, you want to hear straight up reviews, well, you've come to the right place. So why not? Go on ahead, hit the subscribe button down below there, and while you're at it, don't forget to ring that bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything from here on in. So today, I'm taking a look at the Tamna Vullen double cask, uh, the single malt from the Speyside region in Scotland. Now this little dram here was kindly sent to me by the Whiskey Novice. Top bloke, I'll put the links down here below uh, so you can see his social media. Please give him a follow. The Vullen double cask is one I've seen quite a lot in the local stores and it's sort of been catching my eye a bit in the last few months because I've seen it ranging in price from £45, £40, £25, right even down to 20 and when you sort of see that you're like mm, you know maybe should have pulled the trigger but something just kept putting me off and I, I'm not sure what it was it maybe was a wee the wee whiskey furry in my head I don't know but when I realized I had a sample here I thought you know what I'll just try the sample first and see if it's something that really floats my boat now, the double cask here comes from the fact that this has been matured in American oak casks and then finished off in sherry butts and this is actually released late in 2016 and it was Tam the Villain's first uh, release in 20 years believe it or not and it was to mark their 50th anniversary. Now strangely enough for something that is marking a fairly major milestone for a distillery it's non-age statement and I do believe it's chill filtered and coloured so maybe that's why the wee whiskey fairy in my head was saying big I'll just hold off a while. So was it right to hold off or should I pull the trigger when I saw it at 20 quid? watch on and see. So let's get right into it and have a go on the nose and see how it starts. Now right off it's unmistakably Speyside. It's fruity, there's some apple and honey notes in there and it is very very light. Like as I have said it is unmistakably Speyside but Apart from those notes that I've mentioned, there's not really a whole big pile much more going on. Perhaps, and this is at a push, there's probably a touch of sweet oak in there as well. And that's probably coming from the influence of the sherry butts. But at the same time, as I said, it is at a push. So let's get right on ahead and give it a whirl on the palate to see if there's any more going on in the taste than there is in the nose. Slunch you guys. It's a bit of a different animal now on the on the palate. I'm getting some oak there. And with its common pear and it's like it's not like a fresh pear or even a mashed pear, it's more like a poached pear. Now there's a touch of tanginess there as well. And as you probably saw from me facial expression there. It is a tad harsh. It's it is quite harsh. There's a bitterness there that comes with it as well. And yeah, I'm getting a bit of demerara sugar coming after that. But unfortunately, it's instead of a big dollop of it, it's just a little pinch, and there's not really enough there to sweeten that bitter pill of that second sip the bitterness does really overpower that small element of sweetness that's there. Now in this third sip, the sweetness is a wee bit more there, but not a pile. And while it does come in initially, that bitter element does take over again. It's uh, I don't know, it's, it's not really doing it for me. The finish, thank God, isn't overly long, but what is there? It's a bit better and dare I say it's even on the bland side as well. So overall, I think it's pretty clear that this really isn't doing it for me. 
and it's I'm not overly impressed with it. It's <clears throat> when you think about it, your first single malt in twenty years, marking the fiftieth anniversary. Well, you really want to announce Tam the Villains back with a bang, something special, something that's make people gonna set up and go well. But there's no bang here. This is a damp squib. It, I just can't really find any big or even medium redeeming qualities about it for me. Unless you're really interested to try it, go right ahead. But sure as hell, don't pay any more than £20 for this. It's just not worth it. Let's hope that, well, the next whiskey I try is going to float my boat a bit more than this one. But thanks again for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your ongoing support. I'm getting towards the big 100 subscriber mark. Only nine more to go. So anything you do to give me a wee push there, I'd really appreciate that as well. And all my links to my social media channels are down below. So if you like, you may follow down there on those channels too. I'm usually quite active. Said if you've had the Tam Neville and Double Cask, let me know what you think of it. And anything else from Tam Neville. So that's it for today guys. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and as always, until the next time, drink your whiskey the way you like it. Slot you.